continuing with the hand assembly of SIC, the statement byte C EOF is assembled as the ASCII value of E is taken, which is 45, O is 4F and F is 46. So it is converted to 45, 4F, 46. The next instruction is clear X, which is a format to instruction. So format to instruction is uh, clear X. The opcode of clear is B4 and then it says you have to clear the register X. The value of X register is 1 and hence uh, opcode followed by R1 and R2. Opcode of clear is B4. Opcode is written as 8 bit and hence there will not be any change when compared to format 3 instruction and format 4 instruction. So opcode B4 followed by X register its value is 1 which is written under the register R1 and R2 value is 0. You have only one register. Clear X is the instruction and hence the object code is B410. B410 is the object code for clear X. The next instruction is clear A. Clear its opcode is B4. The accumulator its numerical value is 0 and hence opcode is written out as 8 bit B4 itself followed by register R1 is 0. You don't have register R2 and hence its value is also 0. So its object code is B400. The next instruction is clear S. The meaning is you have to clear all the registers, index register, accumulator as well as the general purpose register S. The opcode of clear is B4. S is assigned to the value 4. You don't have second register and hence its value is 0. So opcode 4, clear S is B4 followed by 4, 0. The next instruction is plus LDT hash 4096. Hash means it is an immediate addressing. Plus indicates it is an extended format or format for instruction. The numerical value of LDT is 74. You have to write the LDT as 74. 0, 1, 1, 1 is the value of 7 followed by 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. You take only 6 bit of the opcode and hence 6 bit is written out. The last 2 bit is discarded. Format for instruction and immediate addressing and hence n value is 0, i value is set to 1. <coughs> x value is 0, base and program counter value is 0 as it is an extended format and instead of displacement you have to write the address as 20 bits. The instruction when you focus it is plus LDT hash 4096. What you have to do is you have to convert 4096 to its hexadecimal value. So 4096 when converted to hexadecimal value its value is equal to 1000. That value is written out here. The meaning is you have to load the general purpose T register with 1000 hash 4096 4096 in hexadecimal is 1000 you have to load the t register with 1000 so displacement is equal to value in the operand which is equal to 1000 and its object code is you group together the four bits so 7 5 1 0 1 0 0 0 TD input is the next instruction. It is at location 1040. 
program counter will be having the address of next executable instruction the next executable instruction is jeqr loop it is at location 1043 so what happens is uh, td the numerical value of td is e0 and uh, the input is located at location you have to check the location of uh, input the target address input it is located at location 105c and pc is having the value 1043 so the displacement is 105c minus 1043 which gives you a value of 019 so the displacement is 019 op code you write in terms of 6 bit n value is 1 i value is 1 which indicates you are using sic xc architecture program counter is there why because the address of next instruction will be there in the program counter and when you assemble the instruction the object code is uh, e32019 next instruction is jeq r loop program counter will hold the address of uh, next executable instruction and hence program counter will have 1046 jeq r loop you have to look at the location of r loop as you can see r loop is at location 1040 so you have to write out the opcode of jeq in terms of binary bits it is 30 and NIXBPE is N value 1, I value 1 and P value is also 1. When you calculate the displacement, displacement is equal to target address minus program counter. JEQ R loop is the instruction. The meaning of the instruction is when you have to jump to R loop when it is equal to. So you have to jump to the location of R loop, R loop is at location 1040. So 1040 minus the content of PC is 1046. Hexadecimal subtraction is giving FFA, 12 bit displacement and when you assemble the instruction what you get is 332 FFA. 0011 is 3, 0011 is again 3, 0010 is 2 followed by the displacement value which is FFA. Compare uh, RD input is the next instruction. The program counter will be having 1049 and the target address is input. Input is at location whichever be the location of the input you have to take that into consideration we have seen that the input is at location 105c so 105c is the location of the input so displacement is equal to input minus pc 105c minus the pc is having 1049 and when you subtract the value that you get is 13. 13 is written in terms of uh, 12 bits displacement. It is 0, 1, 3. And when you write out the object code, you have to assemble 4 bits. So 1101 1, is D, 1011 1, 1 is B, and 0010 0, 0 is 2, and you have the displacement 0, 1, 3. So the object code is DB2013. Compare R A comma S. This is a register to register operation. Comparison is performed. R indicates it is a register to register. Two registers are being compared. Accumulator as well as general purpose register S. Two byte instruction. As I said earlier, SIC XC architecture support four types of instruction. In format 2, it is opcode 8-bit followed by two registers which is of 4 bits each. So when you assemble the instruction, 
of code for compare is A0. Since it is 8 bit, there will not be any change in opcode. Opcode remains as such A0. Accumulator value is 0. S register is having the value 4 and hence the object code is A004. The next instruction is JEQ exit. Exit is the target address. Its location is at 1056. And program counter will be having the address of next executable instruction which is stch buffer comma x which is at 104e. The opcode for JEQ is 30. So 0011 then 0000. You write the 6 bit. So it is 001100. You can discard the last 2 bit followed by NIX BPE bit. N value and I value both are set to 1 since it is SIC XC architecture. Program counter value is also 1. So when you assemble the instruction, you need to find out the displacement. Displacement is nothing but target address minus program counter value. Your target variable exit is at location 1056 and hence 1056 minus PC value. PC is at location 104E. So when you subtract what you get to 0, it has to be written in terms of displacement 12 bit. And when you assemble the object code, it is 332008. The next instruction is STCH buffer comma X. This is a kind of index addressing mode where index register is used. STCH buffer comma X. The numerical value associated with STCH is 5, 4 and you have to write in terms of binary 0, 1, 0, 1 is the value of 5 and 0, 1, 0, 0 is the value of 4. And buffer is at location. You need to find the location of buffer. Buffer is at location 0, 0, 3, 6. When you go back, you can see that buffer is at location. Yeah, buffer is at location 0, 0, 3, 6. So when you substitute the value, you could see that buffer is at 0036 and your program counter is having a value 1051. When you substitute 0, subtract 0036 minus 1051, the hexadecimal subtraction is giving you a value of FFFF EFE5. So, this value does not fit into 12-bit displacement. If you can, you, if you have to write it as a 12-bit displacement, it should be like this. It should have only three values or it could be like two value. You add a zero before. So, this is hold, this has to hold a very large memory size. So, this is where you conclude that you cannot use or we are using a base relative addressing. If the displacement value does not fit into 12 bit, then the addressing mode that you use is base relative and hence PC is set to 0 and base value is set to 1. Since you have STCH buffer comma X, X indicate index register, X value is set to 1. As usual, N and I value is set to 1. So, the displacement is equal to buffer minus the content of base register. 0036 is the value of buffer and base register, we have calculated the value, its value is 0033. You have the instruction LDB hash length. 
you have to load the base register with the value of length. Length is located at 0033 and hence base register is having the value 0033. And when you assemble the object code, you get 57C003. So, in order to distinguish between PC relative addressing and base relative addressing, if ever the displacement that you calculate does not fit into a 12-bit, then the addressing mode used is base relative. Otherwise, it is PC relative. As you can see, the displacement value is very large which cannot be fit, fitted into 12-bit displacement. Next instruction is ticks are T. Increment index register and compare with T register. That is the meaning of ticks R. R means register to register operation. Hence it is a 2 byte instruction and it belongs to format 2. So opcode of uh, it does not compare opcode of ticks is B8 and T is having the value 5 and 0 is R2 with, because we don't use any register. So the destination register is not there. You have only one in one register. So ticks RT is converted to B850. JLT R loop jump if the condition is less than 2 R loop. R loop is located at 1040 so the target address is 1040 and the PC will have the address of the next executable instruction. JLT R loop is a 3 byte instruction and hence the next address is after 1053 it is 5455 and 56. So 1056 is the value of PC and R loop at 1040 and when you subtract what you get is FEA which fits into displacement 12 bit displacement. So you write the opcode of JLT 38 3 8 you take the 2 bits of 8 NIXBP N value and I value 1 P value is also 1 and the object code is 3B2FEA. STX length is the next instruction. You have to store the index register, store from index register to the memory location length. Length is at location 0033. We have seen it in earlier instruction. If you want, you can uh, refer the uh, program slide where you can see that length is located at 0033. The opcode for STX is 10. So 1 is written, 0 is also written. You take the 6 bit and write it as opcode. NIXBP, N value, and I value is 1. And uh, when you find the displacement, displacement is length minus PC. Length is at 0033, PC is, when you look at this instruction, STX length, exit STX length, it is at location 1056, which means your program counter will be having the address of next executable instruction. Since this is a 3 byte instruction, it occupies 3 consecutive memory location and hence next instruction can be seen at 1059. So program counter is at 105 and I mean program counter will have the value 1059. So when you subtract 0033 minus 1059 is going to give you the hexadecimal calculation is going to give you a very large value which cannot be holded as a displacement of 12 bits. The meaning is we are not using program counter but we are using base relative addressing and you have to 
substitute the value of what is there in the base register. So again we are calculating the value of displacement length minus content of base register. Content of base register is 0033. We have seen it in the earlier instruction assembling. So the displacement is 0 and when you assemble the object code it is 134000. The next instruction is R sub. R sub is a format 1 instruction which has got only opcode. Opcode is 4C. Object code is 4C0000. The next instruction is at 105C. Input is at location 105C byte x followed by a device f1 so object code is nothing but that device itself so the object code is f1 itself clear x clear is b4 x x numerical value is 1 followed by r2 is 0 you don't have the second register so b410 is clear x LDT length load T register with the content of target address length. So when you assemble the next instruction, the length is at location 0033. Program counter will have 1062. LDT the numerical value is 74011111 followed by 4 it is 0100. You take the first 6 bit and you write it at the opcode session NIXBPE. When you subtract the value, it does not fit into 12 bit displacement, which means you have to follow the base relative addressing. Length is at 0033 and base register is having the value 0033, and hence the displacement calculated will be 0. And when you assemble the object code, what you get is 774000. TD output, you have to find the location of output. Output is at 1076. So 1076, the PC is having the address of next executable instruction, which is 1065. And hence 1076 minus 1065 it is 11. The displacement is 11. TD is E0. You write 6 bit opcode NIXBP. N value is 1. I value is 1. P value is also 1. JEQW loop. JEQW loop. W loop is at location 1062. The target address is 1062. Program counter will be having 1068 because the next instruction is LDCH buffer comma x which is located at 1068. So when you calculate the displacement 1062 minus 1068 the displacement is FFA which fits into 12 bit and hence it is PC relative. You can conclude that it is PC relative. In every instruction we assume it is PC relative but if the displacement does not fit into 12 bit then you go for base relative addressing where you have to calculate with the value of base register. JEQ its opcode is 30 and you have to write the opcode and NIXBP and when you assemble what you get is 332 FFA. LDCH buffer comma x at location 1068 program counter will be at 106B and uh, your buffer its location you have to write the buffer is at when you calculate what you get is displacement is not program counter relative it is base relative and as you can see buffer comma x which means index register is used it is set to bit 1 n value is set to 1 as well as i value is set to 1 so displacement is buffer minus b 
base register the value is 0033 the buffer value is at location 0036 and hence the displays with the 003 WD output you have to find out the location of output that is the target address program counter will be having 106E so output is at location 1076 the displacement is 1076 minus 106E and of code for WD write devices DC so you write the value of D as well as C you discard the last two bit and take only the six bit as the op code NIXBP N value I value 1 because SICX architecture program counter is also 1. And when you assemble, what you get is 1101 is D, 1111 is F, 0010 is 2 followed by 0008. Ticks are T, op code 2 byte instruction. The opcode of ticks is B8. Opcode is represented as 8 bit in format to instruction. So it remains as such B8 T value. The value of a register T is 5. You don't have second register and hence it is 0. So the opcode is B850. JLTW loop. W loop is the target address. It is at location 1062. You take the numerical value of JLT which is 38, program counter will be having the next instruction R sub at 1073. So program counter will be having this value and W loop at 1062, 1062 minus 1073 it is FEF. It fits into 12 bit displacement and hence the addressing mode used is PC relative. You write out the opcode NIXBP, N value and I value is 1. You don't have index register, hex value is equal to 0. And it is not a format 4 instruction and hence E equal to 0. So the object code that you get is 3B2FEF. And next is the R sub instruction. It is 4C, opcode only instruction. It is 4C. 0, 0, 0, 0. It is written as a 3 byte instruction. Why? Because there are certain instructions like devices which are represented as 1 byte. For example, output byte 0, 05, its value is written as such 0, 05, which is 1 byte. So, in order to avoid the confusion between this 4C and 0, 05, what you do is R sub is written as a 3 byte instruction where all the other bits are written as 0. Byte object code is 0. So this is all about